it was a really windy day so I couldn't really speak as I was doing this so I thought I'd try to add this voiceover track here I'm cleaning out the threads cycle thread 26 teeth per inch can't remember the size but as you can see I was having a bit of trouble with this one and you'll see later on when I try to get the bolts in it's quite uh, difficult as well but I cleaned them out for the first time that'll do for now you wouldn't believe that I have a a big garage to work in but it's completely and utterly full of rubbish at the minute so I am having to work outside with this um, I'm kind of making it up as I go along with this bike because um, yes it was a random purchase to, to, to buy the frame and um, I had lots of bits lying about and I thought yeah look, I want to try and make a whole bike out of it I'm trying to make a proper job lots of stainless really nice stainless from Barleycorn engineering I've used them before um, I have restored a few BSA bikes over the years and some of them are all looking quite rusty again due to me not looking after them enough and the chrome just going off so yeah I'm really a big fan of stainless for this so we'll see how it goes. It was also very cold. I might add. So as I was putting these bolts in, a couple of them went in sort of finger tight and then the other ones were were a bit too tight really but as I've said it was too cold so uh, I thought I would just wind them in with a spanner for now and maybe I'll run the tap through again when I get the handlebars depending on what I decide to have the handlebars I am leaning towards this bike being a Catalina style thing rather than a road bike or having I, I have lusted after a, a DBD 34 Clubman's for a long long time but um, I'm sort of less interested in that now I'm, I'm more interested in the off-road scrambler style I suppose it's the hipster in me although I don't have the beard or drink the beer also naughty me this spanner does not quite fit these bolts which is um, a bit naughty. As you can tell, I'm a bit new to the YouTube game, so I am learning as I go along, trying to trying to find my own way of doing things and and resist copying other people's channels that I like. But I'm sure you'll see the influences from. Uh, from some of the places. So the swinging arm, when I got this frame, the swinging arm was attached and uh, someone had tried to beat out the uh, rod. If you've ever taken one of these apart, you'll know that the rod can get really stuck in the middle. Um, and the frame had been pushed apart a little bit, or the two metal flanges that the swinging arm bolts to um, had been pushed apart. So the guy I got to repair the frame for me um, and also convert it to to gold star style he, he put it back but it's just a little bit tight as you can see here uh, I had I struggled to get it to line up uh, to get the swing arm to go in I had to use a, a screwdriver to jiggle it around to line the holes up but it did go in this is this I think is the this was the second swinging arm. I, I didn't realise that Gold Star swinging arms were different. I always thought it's just they put the wheel on the other side, the, the sprocket on the other side. Um, but no, there's all subtle little differences on the obvious things. Uh, you think the parts are the same, and they're not. Quite can be quite annoying sometimes. But you can see I've had the frame hoop, the little brackets stuck on for the rear sets if I want to use them. Also, the bracket for the stoplight switch uh, at the top of the middle of the screen there was missing, had that put on. 
this the bolt that goes through is the solid type because the brakes on the left hand side it doesn't need the crossover rod for the for the rear brake so the holes are actually different size in the frame um, so I had those kind of filled in and then drilled out and then here we go plenty of copper slip hope I never have to take this thing off again and I probably won't have to in my lifetime because there's other ones that I've done that I've never had to take apart but anyway for the next person hopefully uh, it won't um, seize up and uh, yeah had a bit of a struggle to get this in but uh, eventually it went in so I'm nearly there for having some wheels on this thing I've done the front brake or, or cleaned it up and the, this is the next video I think is going to be putting the wheels on I'm still waiting for a steering damper to arrive the good news is I have a bit more spare time on my hands thanks to being locked in at home the bad news is it's harder to get parts although people still are supplying amazingly so that's something but anyway plenty of copper slip oozing out as you can see just tapping it in very despite the size of the hammer I was honestly tapping it very gently and then just line up for the for the bolt to, to hold it in quick through from the other side again this is a stainless rod going through the middle so uh, yeah hopefully it won't get any corrosion problems and it came with a um, kind of a split nut rather than a nylock one but still locks in place so it's a bit tight it doesn't just spin on a bit tight and uh, yeah so anyway I hope you're enjoying these videos let me know in the comments if you if you like it or not or don't like it uh, I'm trying to find the balance between music and voice and silence and sped up and what are the interesting bits and what aren't the interesting bits some of my favorite YouTube channels actually people don't say anything at all and I kind of like that but uh, yeah maybe you want to hear a bit more about what I'm up to anyway thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon hopefully